All right, so in this video, we're going to continue with applying acid-base chemistry to different practice problems. So for this question, we're asking uh, for the compounds provided below and assuming a physiological pH of 7.4, estimate the percent ionized within five percentage points. And you could give your answer as 0%, 1%, 10%. Etc. So this goes back to the foundational videos when we talked about how with acid-base reactions you could look at a structure and first determine if it's an acid or base and then the next question is well is this primarily in the ionized form or the unionized form? So we did that by comparing pH and pKa and we learned the various ways to look at this conceptually to answer if your dominant form is unionized or ionized. Is it a UB? Is it an IA? Is it an all of that? Now we're going to do it numerically, but the good news is you could still answer the question or check your answer conceptually. So we'll go over that as well. So this is the formula you want to keep in mind right here. So this is the henderson hasselbach formula pH minus pKa is equal to log of base over acid. But uh, as long as you remember that base is on type and acid is on the bottom, that's good. But that's also not enough because you, it depends on what you're starting with. So if you're starting with an unionized acid, then you have to rewrite this equation knowing that the denominator is Ua and the unionized form and the numerator is the ionized form, the IB form, okay? So the way that works is if you see an unionized acid, you automatically think, okay, so the acid in my denominator must be unionized. And I can't have two things that are unionized or two things that are ionized. So if the denominator is unionized, then that means the numerator must be ionized. So you see the UA, you put the UA on the denominator, therefore by default, the numerator has to be the ionized form, and it's always base over acid. Now, if you start with the UB form, okay, so you'll look at this and you'll see UB over IA, and the reason I put UB in the numerator is because I know that the general equation has the base in the numerator, and so I know it's a UB because I'm starting with a UB. So the numerator will be UB and the denominator will be IA. Okay. So to summarize, if you're starting with a UA form, then you're going to use this top equation where your IB form is in the numerator and your UA form is in the denominator. And if you start with a UB, then you still have base over acid, that part doesn't change. But what changes is now the unionized part is on the top, UB, over the ionized portion is gonna be on the bottom, IA. So long story short, make sure you know the general equation and then the two little sub equations. So let's look at this first equation and we're, try, we're gonna try to answer numerically uh, what the percentage is of the ionized form. And so looking at this, I right away see a functional group that I remember, which is an imide functional group. Imide functional group is when you have a nitrogen uh, with a hydrogen directly in between two carbonyls. And if you remember, an imide is actually one of the acidic functional groups we talked about. So an imide is a UA. And so I'm going to write imide here. We also see another imide right here, right? So two imides right next to each other. And that's the UA form. And imides have a pKa of, if you remember these pKa's we talked about. So an imide is a UA form. It's an acid, right? Because these are all acidic functional groups. So an imide is going to have a pKa of 8 to 10. So just keep that in mind. An imide is going to have a pKa of 8 to 10, which it's actually given. The pKa is 8.4. But even if that wasn't given, you would still be able to estimate uh, using the pKa's that you have memorized. Okay. 
So we're looking at a, a, April barbital here, and it's an unionized acid. So that means that when I write my equation, I'm going to do pH minus pKa equals log of base over acid. But I know that my acid is unionized because that's what I'm starting with is a UA. So by default, the numerator must be ionized. So I'm using this second, or sorry, this top equation here where you're starting with a UA form. So I'm going to take the pH, which is given in the problem, 7.4, minus the pKa, which is also given in the problem, 8.4, is equal to log of the ionized form over the unionized form. When I do that, I know that 7.4 minus 8.4 is negative 1. And then I can go ahead and write log of, at this point, I like to just go on to ionized over unionized. I kind of lose that base over acid. So this is a log base 10. So then I would do 10 to the negative 1 is equal to I over u. So again, this is just uh, going back to how to solve logs, but you have log base 10. So it's going to be 10 to the negative 1 is equal to i over u. So 10 to the negative 1 is equal to i over u. So that means that, uh, and I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over 10, right? Instead of 10 to the negative 1, I'm going to write it as 1 over 10. So that means my ionized to unionized is going to be 1 to 10. So that tells me that I mainly have the unionized form because that's the larger number of 10. If you just look at this conceptually, without all the numbers, you would have already predicted this answer because we know that the pH is 7.4 and the pKa is around 8 to 10. So we have a UA, an acid, where the pH is actually less than the pKa. And we know that acids that are in a lower pH environment or in an acidic environment will primarily be unionized because we know that in order to have the IB form or the ionized form, this would have to be flipped. We would need our pH to be basic. We need our pH to be greater than pK. But here the pH is this, creating this acidic environment. It's less than the pKa. So we already know that our unionized form should predominate. All we're doing is we are now just looking at this numerically. So we get 1 to 10. So how would we get percent ionized? Well, the 1 stands for I or ionized, and the 10 stands for unionized, because that's what this ratio is saying. So to get percent ionized, all I would have to do is I would take my ionized, which is 1, over the total. So ionized is 1, unionized is 10, 1 over, um, and then I would see that that's going to be 1 over 11, and then if I multiply by 100 to get a percentage, uh, then I would get 10%, about 10%. So the answer to April Barbital is that you're going to have 10% uh, ionized. And if you were to do this again, if you were to do this problem conceptually, you would have already predicted that the unionized form is not the predominant form. And that makes sense because we're only getting 10%. It's not the predominant form. So now you can try number two on your own and see what you get. So first step, just to remind you, is figure out which equation you want to use from the two listed here. Are you going to use the UA or the UB form of this equation? 
And then next you're going to plug in your numbers for pH and pKa. You're going to get your ratio and then you're going to get your percentage. After that, check your answer conceptually uh, to see what you get. What you should get for number two if you um, go ahead and solve it out completely is you should also get 10%. In the next video, I'll go over how to solve number two, just in case you didn't get 10%. If you did get 10%, you could skip the next video. And in following videos, I will talk about a neurotransmitter, GABA, uh, to, to apply acid-base chemistry further. And then I'm going to, uh, in the video after that, talk about uh, phenobarbital, which is a sedative hypnotic and kind of have more clinical applications to acid-base chemistry. And then in the final video, we'll do a kind of like a clinical case to see if you can use your acid-base skills to save your patient.